If you're planning to sell any games, books, puzzles, things of that nature at the JBF sale, you want to take the time at home to make sure that those items are complete. So here's an example of a game and it requires several pieces. All the game pieces are here. The money is all here. The other elements are here. So once you, you're you sure that you've got everything that you need, close up the box and you want to tape it shut with packing tape so that little hands can't get into it at the sale. And then on the back of the box is where we're going to secure the tag. And you can either do that with packing tape or you can also use the blue painter's tape. For things that are battery operated, batteries must be included so that the buyer can test it before they leave the sale. So you don't need to buy very expensive batteries. You can go to the dollar store, just something that will give them an indication that that item is in good working order. Okay, let's talk about selling books at JBF. So first of all, what not to bring. This book has a lot of excessive wear and tear. Nobody um, is gonna wanna buy this. So this would be something that wouldn't be accepted at the sale. So if you have a book like that, leave that at home. Um, if you're selling books in individual books, so let's say you have a big book like this or like this, um, what you're gonna wanna do is put the tag on the back. Now to sell books, I have just three things that I use. I have painter's tape, packing tape, and these large gallon Ziplocs. Um, for individual books, I'm gonna show you how I sell them as a group in a second, but for individual books, you're gonna to wanna to use the painter's tape. Packing tape will tear the cardboard off of the back of a book. So you wanna get the painter's tape that won't stick. Um, and then just put your tag, so for example, this is my tag, I would tag it right here. Okay, so that's for individual books. If you do have books in a set like this, I would recommend putting a piece of painter's tape across the books just so that they don't fall out. And then again, using painter's tape to tag your, tag your um, set somewhere on the side or the back. Now, my best tip is to sell your books as a set if you can. This is how I have the most luck. So I will literally just dump all the books that I'm ready to sell on my living room floor, my kitchen table, and try to sort them a little bit. So I might do something like this. So this is a Disney, Disney, Nancy, 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 Disney, Nancy, Nancy, that's Disney, Nancy, Nancy. Okay, maybe we can make another group. So here I have four Fancy Nancy books. So that'll sell well as a set. So I'll put that in a bag. Just like that. Seal the bag up and then I will fold this over the back. I'll take the packing tape and seal the bag shut right here and then I'll place my tag on here. And I can use packing tape on this because what I'm, I'm taping the plastic bag. The only time you really don't want to use packing tape is if you're taping an actual book because then it will rip when the person tears it off, when the buyer tears it off. So it's, very, it's going to be very easy for people to see. This is a set of four Fancy Nancy books. I put it so that the titles are along the back here so everyone can see. I do the same thing with the board books. Just sort them. You know, these are some pretty early learning board books, some Sandra Boynton books. Um, these are kind of educational, so I might do a bag and do a set of four early learning board books. And these make it faster for me to tag if I group them as a set, and they'll sell better. Um, let's talk about selling DVDs or if you have video games uh, that come like this. So the important thing to do is to check that the CD or the DVD um, or the game is actually in the case and that it's not scratched. And then again, same thing. Some of these are plastic. You would be okay using packing tape on there. It won't rip anything. But if you do have a cardboard sleeve on your DVD, I would go ahead and use um, painter's tape for that so that it doesn't rip anything. 